Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about sleep, which is provided by a key, which is a keyword provided by Robo Framework, and then there are some weight keyword provided by Selenium library. Okay, and we'll compare. Uh, we'll see why do we need sleep and weight in test automation. Then we'll compare the sleep and weight keywords. We'll try to see the difference between them, and then we'll see when to use sleep and when to use weight. What's the benefit of using weight over sleep? And after that, uh, we'll quickly explain the uh, weight keywords provided by Selenium library. So let's start. Uh, friends say you are trying to automate this page all right so there is a username password uh, you'll put some text for username and password and then you'll click on login button for that you'll need this kind of uh, robo code so on line number six you're opening browser where you are you'll provide a, a url and the browser name then you'll call input text keyword with uh, you'll pass the username uh, text field identifier over here so this is the x path for username uh, and then you'll provide the value of username uh, then second input text keyword call where you'll pass the uh, identifier of password field and the value of password all right after executing that code you will see something like this okay and then you need to click on login button right so you'll say click on login button on line number nine and then after you click uh, you'll go to the home page and where you'll try to find some uh, component on home page uh, for example here in our case it's a search button okay so after you log in uh, you are expecting this search button to appear okay so now when you execute this code when you put username password and you click on login let's see what happens you generally see this progress bar all right so this progress uh, icon now because of this what happens uh, you will uh, you will execute click on login button and then you'll immediately your code is trying to uh, search for uh, a search button a button any component or text all right but it your code will not get it because on UI uh, it's still loading it will take some time to load so you'll have to wait okay so for example it is taking uh, uh, it is this uh, busy cursor takes five seconds to load so in that case what you can do is uh, after line number nine you can just add sleep keyword which is provided by robo framework and to sleep keyword you can pass five seconds so it will wait for five seconds after you click on login and then it will try to find the uh, you next UI components are on your home screen or uh, then it will do the rest of the actions all right so this will help uh, after you wait for five seconds this cursor will go away in five seconds and then you'll see the home page all right this is good but now imagine today you have automated this and tomorrow uh, your network is slow because of that because of that reason uh, your website is taking 10 seconds for login instead of 5 seconds all right so in that case you'll have to increase this uh, weight over here now on day after tomorrow your network is again faster and your web page is being loaded in just two seconds in that case this sleep keyword will still wait for 10 seconds it's a dumb wait so even if your web page is faster your script is slow it will unnecessarily wait for 10 seconds that's what you want to avoid so instead of sleep what you'll do you is you'll just you just comment this code for time being and you'll use wait for wait until 
element is visible okay and then you pass the locator okay and after that you will say give, give the four spaces one two three four not here sorry okay and then you pass 10 seconds over here so this keyword this is a smart keyword it is provided by selenium library uh, when you use wait until element uh, element is visible this will wait for 10 seconds uh, th uh, for this element to appear if this element appears before 10 seconds in one second or in maybe two seconds it will just come out it will not wait for entire 10 seconds so this is a smarter wait alright so uh, you should always prefer wait until or wait keywords provided by selenium library over uh, the sleep keyword alright but at uh, some places uh, you are not able to somehow uh, you are not able to uh, use selenium wait then only you should go for sleep otherwise you should avoid using sleep alright Uh, so there are different keywords provided by different weight keywords provided as provided by selenium library friends uh, So let's go through them one by one. I'll just briefly cover uh, uh, Those keywords over here if you if you want me to cover them in detail. Just let me know in comment section Okay uh, Wait until element contents. So if you're looking for uh, if you're doing some your action and after doing that your action uh, your element will contain some new text and you want to wait for that text to appear in that case you should use this keyword then wait until element does not contain some text if you are expecting after after your UI action you are expecting that text to go away in that case you should use this keyword then wait until wait until element is unable uh, so uh, if uh, you should use it uh, when you put you do some UI action and after that your element will get enabled and you want to wait for that element to get enabled in that case you should use this keyword then we have wait until element is not visible and visible we have used this keyword uh, in our demo code right so this is pretty straightforward then wait until location contains okay location means URL so all those four keywords those are related to URL they are talk they are talking about URL so wait until your URL contains some part for example after you click on login button your URL changes and it is it displays home page so if you want to check if you want to wait until your URL changes then you should use this uh, keyword and then uh, you have wait until page contents so if you want to verify some you if you want to wait for some text on the page not on the element so a, on entire page you are waiting for some text then in that case you can use these two keywords okay and then wait until page contains element for example you are waiting for some element to appear in that case you can use these keywords alright friends uh, so to summarize slip should be used only when your you cannot use wait keywords wait keywords will be always preferred over slip because those are smarter weights alright friends if this video helped you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button uh, on this video and let me know your thoughts in comment section uh, if you want me to make different videos on different topic and or if you want me to um, uh, add if, if you are facing some issues to understand uh, this concept let me know in comment section and we will try to handle it alright friends thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye